This is going to be an interesting video because Fortnite Chapter 5 has been leaked for this year. And before we dive into it, make sure you guys like this video, comment down below on your thoughts about the roadmap for Chapter 5. And make sure you guys share this video so that way this video can reach the algorithm. But other than that, let's just dive into it. So this image has been circling around 4chan, but it has been posted by iFireMonkey on Twitter. So I will link that down below. I won't be showing it on here, but I will be describing what is in this roadmap. But with every single leak, take it with a grain of salt. So what I'm going to do is provide timestamps down below and I'm going to break down each mode's roadmap for this year. So if you guys want to see what roadmaps are there, timestamps will be down below. But other than that, let's just start with the first one. So starting off, we have Rocket Racing and the first season, which is ongoing, which is Neon Knights. However, the other three seasons is going to be interesting. And then we get the other seasons for Rocket Racing. So season two, is like a volcanic temple theme and then season three is a futuristic sky theme season we don't know the names yet but the images can be speculative so take everything with a grain of salt as for season four however we don't know what it is but it'll be launching when chapter six launches in december and that's basically it for rocket racing for now so jumping ship from there, we go into LEGO Fortnite. So LEGO Fortnite has been an interesting development because in March we just got vehicles and then in April we're supposed to be getting something new. However, in May we'll be starting the Star Wars event for LEGO Fortnite and that will run until mid-June and then starting on mid-June we get the Clombo update which will run from there up until mid-September. As for September's update, however, we don't know what it is, but judging from the windmill, this could be something with like a windmill update and then it'll end in mid-September. And then from like mid-September to mid-November, we get like a interesting theme for the next update after September. We don't know what it is, but it's supposed to be like a spooky themed update for LEGO Fortnite. We don't know what it is, but after that, we have the December one for Chapter 6. We have no idea what that is as well, so take everything that you hear with salt. And that's basically it for LEGO Fortnite. And now we're moving on into Fortnite Festival. So festival has been one of my favorite modes within chapter 5 and right now we just got Lady Gaga however the next few artists are interesting choices. So season 2 ends next week and the next season after Lady Gaga is Billie Eilish which will run around mid-April up until mid-May. Which makes Billie Eilish one of the shortest seasons for a Fortnite festival overall. And then after that, we have Metallica, which will run up until August. And then, in my opinion, one of the least choices I would have chosen for season 5, which is Carol G. And I feel mixed about Carol G mainlining season 5. But I honestly wish they could have like chose someone else like Marshmallow, Drake, or even Daft Punk. And then the last artist that will be closing out 2024 for Fortnite Festival is Snoop Dogg. This man has appeared in Call of Duty multiple times and it is honestly exciting to see him more than Carol G. And that's basically it for Fortnite Festival's roadmap. But we have one more roadmap so let's just jump into it. The last one I'm going to talk about is the Battle Royale section for Fortnite. And it is an interesting choice for themes of seasons. So currently we are in Myths and Mortals, which is season two. And currently we are on the Avatar Last Airbender event. And then the last event to close out season two would be Star Wars. However, the next one after that closes season two beforehand, which is Fall Guys on UEFN. 
And for those that don't know, Fall Guys is also an Epic Games property because they bought out Mediatonic, the devs behind the game, and they went free to play. However, they laid off majority of the staff last year, which is a really, really sad thing. And what came after those layoffs was the announcement of UEFN and Fall Guys during the State of Unreal presentation this year. And that's basically it for like Season 2. Moving on to Season 3, this is where things get interesting. Season 3 will be Wasteland themed, Mad Max inspired, and it's really interesting to see that. And when I saw the image for Season 3, I thought about Mad Max because it's Wasteland themed. And this would be like a perfect season to promote Furiosa by having like a Furiosa skin in Fortnite as well as like a Mad Max skin other than her. What is more interesting for season 3 is that we're also having a Metallica themed event for season 3 as well as a big Pirates of the Caribbean event. And I'm just gonna like make a bold prediction. I'm just gonna predict that Pirates of the Caribbean will have its own pass and Jack Sparrow will be locked behind that pass. As far as other characters go, I would just see Davy Jones because I really do not know like that many Pirates characters for that franchise. However, what is interesting after Season 3 is actually Season 4 and we're supposed to be getting another Marvel themed season with Doctor Doom being involved with it. And another Marvel theme season would actually be amazing for a lot of reasons. And this will be Marvel's second time collabing with Fortnite for an entire season since Chapter 2 Season 4. And I know everyone literally missed out on the Marvel season because it had all the Marvel characters that were locked from that battle pass and I am actually excited to see what they would do with this one. However, as Fire Monkey mentioned that the image for season 4 is an image that already exists in a comic book cover for a Marvel comic so who knows what will happen for season 4 but if it's a Marvel themed season I am totally in 100%. And then during season 4 we'll be getting the Fort Nightmares event which will be a lot of new skins but at the same time it's still just gonna be like another disappointing Fort Nightmares. And then we get Fortnite OG part 2 and this is where everything gets super interesting from there. So at the start of chapter 5 we ended up getting a confirmation that OG would be returning in 2024 for chapter 5 but we didn't know what would it be like could it be like another chapter 1 or like a chapter 2 and the OG season for this year is going to be chapter 2 yes we're going back to the chapter 2 island which is pretty mixed in my opinion and so how it would start for OG part 2 would be we would jump into chapter 2 season 1 and then we would go into chapter 2 season 2 and then the image ends with chapter 2 season 3. However, this is just a placeholder and anything can happen for the OG season for chapter 2. And here's my prediction on how chapter 2 is going to look. So how you start the OG season is that you just start with chapter 2, season 2, like one of the best seasons for Fortnite. And then a week later we'll be jumping into chapter 2 season 3. And then after that make us jump into chapter 2 season 5, bring back the sand for god's sakes. And I'm gonna be real, in my opinion chapter 2 season 5 was one of my favorite seasons because the amount of collapse that happened during the season like that was like the most collapse we ever had in like a Fortnite season ever. And then after that we hop on into chapter 2 season 6 and 7 like literally bring back weapon crafting which is like an interesting concept that was like really interesting but most people actually hate it so who knows. 
and then you end it with chapter 2 season 8 with the PvE stuff during the battle royale as well as like the sideways guns. And that's basically my prediction for OG part 2. And then after that we go into the live event that'll jump us into chapter 6. And that is basically it for the entire roadmap for Fortnite chapter 5. Now as far as my thoughts go I think this image was like an early like roadmap image but if the Metallica one is real and the Pirates of the Caribbean one is real then this image might be the most leaks we ever gotten for like future content for chapter 5. Even though I am really excited for the future of chapter 5 after season 2 there are still some really glaring problems that is literally being public and a lot of people are really pissed about all the changes that have happened when chapter 5 started. But that is a video for another time and that's basically it for the video. Again with all leaks please take this with a grain of salt and if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like the video, comment down below on your thoughts on the chapter 5 roadmap. Click subscribe, ring the bell for any future content I put up on the channel, and make sure you guys share this video so that way it can cause some civil discussion. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.
If you are new to the channel, make sure to like the video, comment down below, click subscribe, and ring the bell for any future videos I put up on the channel.